Guys, I'm not sure how to break this to you, but federal prosecutors say that crowdfunding President Trump's border wall through a P.O. box in Castle Rock might not have been on the up and up. Federal prosecutors announced fraud charges against President Trump's former top advisor, Steve Bannon, and the Coloradan behind that P.O. box. We told you about the build the wall checks being funneled to Castle Rock, of all places, two full years ago. Marshall Zellinger looks at how feds determined that this was a scam, other than, you know, just looking at it. The guy behind an energy drink filled with 12 ounces of liberal tears is in trouble for his work helping to privately fund a border wall. Tim Shea was arrested by postal inspectors at his Castle Rock home this morning. He was indicted for his role in We Build the Wall, the GoFundMe fundraiser that had physical checks coming to a Castle Rock P.O. box starting in late 2018. The money was for Brian Colfage, a triple amputee in Florida who was behind the private funding for a border wall, an effort that raised more than $25 million. Multiple times, Colfage said 100% of the money would go to a border wall and that he would not pay himself a penny. Colfage was also indicted today, along with Steve Bannon, former advisor to President Trump. The 24-page indictment spells out how $350,000 did not go to a border wall, but rather personal expenses for Colfage with the help of Shea. Money for home renovations, a luxury SUV, cosmetic surgery, and a boat named Warfighter. Hey, a boat named Warfighter can be seen in this video from Winning Energy's Facebook page. That's Shea's Liberal Tears Energy Drink Company, which sponsored a Trump boat parade in Florida on the 4th of July. The federal government now wants possession of Warfighter and bank accounts filled with money that was supposed to be used for a privately funded border wall. Don't take my word for it. Shea's wife assured us of that in December 2018. Myself, my husband, Brian, nobody is taking a dime from this. That is 100% fact and it's provable. The indictment suggests it's 100% false. It details how federal investigators believe Shea's husband helped divert some of that money. In one text message exchange between Shea and Colfage, investigators said Shea would pay the two out of a veiled shell corporation by creating companies to make it look like the money was for consulting and social media. The indictment goes on to say a shell company created by Shea received wire transfers from We Build the Wall, with tens of thousands of dollars going to Colfage and tens of thousands to Shea. Shea's wife in 2018 explained to us why they were working on a contract with the government to make sure the donated money went to build a border wall. The government's not great stewards of people's money and it could just be misappropriated in little ways and whatever. And we don't want that to happen. That's not our purpose. How about another Colorado connection? Former Republican congressman and gubernatorial candidate Tom Tancredo is on We Build the Walls advisory board. He didn't reference Shane in a text to me but said, this is the first I've heard about it. I have not been contacted by any authorities. I can't imagine that Steve Bannon, whom I know well, is either this careless or this dumb. Tim Shea was in federal court today. His wife was not arrested. Tim can get out with a $250,000 bond and can have no dealings, Kyle, with money from We Build the Wall, either raising the money anymore or moving the money. Marshall, there's a part of this that is just like laugh out loud clumsy if it wasn't so sad because the money of course came from real people uh, i mean real conservatives in colorado and elsewhere around the country who thought that they were donating money for this cause that they believe in and the feds say that it ended up in the the liberal tears sport boat there <laughs> there's two things that stand out to me one is that a financial institution one of the banks apparently tipped everybody off that hey People are looking at your accounts, just so you know. So someone knew something to tip off an agent to go to the bank. And second, that it was postal inspectors that made the arrest. Of all weeks, it's the postal service coming to the rescue, perhaps, of people's money. That's rich. Uh, Marshall, thank you. So, 